Yeah, you know, it's been over two years since I drove a car and uh, I got the opportunity to come out here and make a few test laps and get back into it. Uh, I wanted to experience again. It's been so long and uh, I got the opportunity and it was great. It was fantastic. Well, uh, I've been talking to Don for a while and uh, I wanted to get back in a car and I wanted that feeling again. I wanted to get used to it because I'm working on some things that uh, may find me out here again this year. So uh, I talked to Don, I asked him if I could come make a few runs and, and he said yes. So I found myself in Tony's car. Never tried to race anything else. You just stayed with top fuel. Is it top fuel or bust? Well, once you drive one of these things, it's it's unlike anything else, and uh, and it's, it's experience you crave. You know, you don't you won't want anything but this. You want to drive the top fuel car. Does it really take your breath away at the first hit? Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you what, I got to about half track on this run and I, I wasn't breathing. So uh, I gathered my thoughts and I, it was kind of drifting to the right a little bit. Uh, so I moved, I brought it back a little left and, and finished the run. But yeah, it felt great. I think it ran a 76. So uh, a great first run back after two years. What do you have to offer for America? Well, that's a good question, isn't it? That's the, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Um, I'm the youth, the youth of this sport. That's what this sport needs. Uh, a personality to take this sport into the future. You know, we've had John Force, you know, Don the Snake Perdome, the Mongoose, Shirley Muldowney. We've had those greats, Don Garlitz. We've had the greats. I'm the next great. 